Welcome to the Mattress 350 RTK tutorial video. This video will show you how to use the BS65 Intelligent Battery Station and TB65 Intelligent Flight Battery. Functional Description The BS65 Intelligent Battery Station has multiple battery interfaces and can be installed with 8 TB65 Intelligent Flight Batteries and 4 WB37 Intelligent Batteries. You can charge two TB65 batteries and one WB37 battery at the same time. Label the two TB65 batteries with paired battery stickers before use. Charge and discharge the two batteries together to optimize flight performance and maximize battery life. Insert these batteries with the same marks into the battery station in a top and bottom manner. The battery station will charge the batteries successively by group. When there are multiple battery pairs that each pair is formed by top and bottom batteries in the sequence of A, B, C, and D, the pair with the highest power will be charged first. Between paired and singular batteries, paired batteries will be charged first. If none of the batteries are paired, the two batteries with the highest power will be charged first. For WB37 batteries, the battery with the highest power level will be charged first. Charging Modes The battery station has three charging modes, Storage Mode, Ready to Fly Mode, and Standard Mode. Storage Mode, each battery pair is charged to 50% in sequence and kept at 50% after charging. This can facilitate long-term battery storage. Ready to Fly Mode each battery pair is charged to 90% in sequence and kept at 90% after charging, which is convenient for quick battery use. Standard Mode Each battery pair is charged to 100% in sequence. In addition, the battery station comes with a regular USB-C port to charge the remote controller. Refer to the picture above for more information on the meanings of battery status indicators during the charging. Battery Station Management Run the DJI Pilot 2 app Connect the remote controller to the USB-C maintenance port on the battery station and power on the battery station and enter the Health Management System Tap Battery Station Management To check the status of the battery station and batteries adjust self-discharge settings export the logs and update the firmware Battery Station Management Interface Check the charging status of batteries in the battery station, battery level, and remaining charging time. Select one battery and you can check the health status of the battery, temperature, voltage, cycle count, and storage time with high voltage. Self-discharge settings. Tab Self-discharge settings. Under the battery station management interface, enter the self-discharge setting interface, and check the second battery self-discharge period for all batteries. Drag the slider on the right to select the desired start time for the second self-discharge period. Then tap Confirm Change. After the settings, you can confirm whether the self-discharge period is shown correctly on the interface. Log Export. Tap Export Log on the Battery Station Management interface, enter the Manage Logs interface, then select the corresponding log to upload. After the uploading is successful, please provide the QR code to DJI After Sales Service for analysis and troubleshooting. You can also select to store the log locally, and the data will be stored in the internal storage of the remote controller. To check the data in the remote controller, go to File and enter the DJI folder, HMS folder, and Battery Station folder for details. Firmware Update Tap Firmware Update to enter the update interface. Tap Update All to update all TB65 batteries inserted in the battery station. Battery User Guide Battery Self-Heating Function When the battery temperature is lower than 18 degrees Celsius, the batteries will start heating themselves to 18 degrees Celsius automatically when inserting them in the aircraft. Then the batteries will stop the heating and enter the insulation mode. After takeoff, the batteries will exit the self-heating or insulation mode automatically. 
Press and hold the battery button for 5 seconds to enter the self-heating mode when the batteries are not inserted in the aircraft. At this time, the battery indicator will blink automatically. After the heating is complete, the batteries will enter the insulation mode. Press and hold the battery level button for 5 seconds again to return to the normal state. In a low temperature environment, it is recommended that you should wait until the battery self-heating is done. Battery Storage If the batteries need to be stored for a long time, it is recommended to charge them to 50% in the storage mode before their storage. It is also recommended to charge and discharge the battery every 3 months to maintain battery activity. Thank you for watching.